is Lurker Cat, and you're watching the MBS Show. Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 172. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Ro. Hello, all you happy people. Hello day, Ro. How are you doing, man? Doing great. Doing great. My beard's not growing bigger, and I have some more stuff to scratch. Huh. Whenever I think. I see. So, okay, I'm going to get back to you later. Also joining us today, returning for the fourth time, Kyle. Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Fine, thank you, fine, thank you. Also joining us in a very special way, due to technical difficulties, is Puffy. And going to voice Puffy is Kyle. Hello! Do you want me to do a different voice? I don't know. <laughs> Let's roll with it. Let's roll with it. It all depends on Puffy's tech typing speed right now. Uh, so, uh, our guest for this week is... Guess, why don't you introduce yourself to the people who might not know who you are and what you do? Hey, I'm the Lurker Cat, and I like to scribble. Also known as Steph Patterson. Hello there, Lurker Cat. So, how should I address you? Because Lurker Cat sounds creepy, like it's lurking <laughs> around, trying to get me. I'm sorry, but yeah, I'm kind of creepy in that sense. Um, just oh, You're a stalker, then. you're a stalker. Shh, don't tell them all my secrets, Kyle. Uh, so, Lurker Cat it is. I think I can work with this, yes, stalker or not. And Kyle, did Puffy say something? Yes, uh, and Puffy was just asking, uh, you never make the guests introduce themselves, Norman. What's changed? I got no idea. <laughs> uh, special but, guest is special. True that. But anyway, how has everyone been? How has everyone's week? Bro, how have you been, man? Uh, it's been a slow week with the visits and the commitments and the stuff. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Hmm. Just a lot of family stuff going on. So it's uh, been... One of those weeks, but it's okay. We're good. All right, cool, cool. cool Not though cool. I wish I could have stayed at home and inked more of my sketches. I'd have been more productive. Ah, uh, all right, understandable, understandable. So, Kyle, what about you, man? Uh, things have been going pretty well. Uh, right now, I've got a half-built shelf behind me, which I'm trying to finish off. So that'll house my Dreamcast games if I do this the right way. <laughs> Yay, the Dreamcast! Yes, love the Dreamcast, love that, love the console, so I'm hoping that'll be done all right, fingers crossed, and uh, also been working on the Midnight Scribes Creative Vibes show uh, with uh, a few of our guests. Uh, I believe, Norman, your show's going out next Tuesday. Oh, really, now? Yeah, that that's official word of God from Diane, the producer, that that's what's happening, so uh, yay for that. Man, all right, that's cool, that's cool, can't wait to hear it. Probably I sound bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not sarcastic at all. Indeed. And Lurk, how about you? Um, I've just been busy drawing for said show. Oh, but really you're no. going to be on? Yeah, that's all I've been doing this week is work, drawing, sleep. That mm. is pretty much been it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I've forgotten what the sun looks like. Oh my. Well, you're in Scotland, so the sun exactly. might not be up there. You can forget how the sun looks like, but never forget how to praise it. <laughs> I must always praise it, otherwise it won't come back. Uh, and we will live in darkness. Exactly. Oh mm. my, oh my. And Puff, what about you? How have you been? Well, you don't know how lazy I am. I've done nothing productive for two or three weeks. What? But now I'm drawing, so that's a start. A very slow start. <laughs> this At is going to be start, fun. Puffy. This is going to be fun. Uh, <laughs> but hey, at least you're drawing now, so that's good. Can I just say something? Sure, go ahead. Please. Kai is an amazing voice of me, and I am also Yoda, clearly. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> but anywho, what can we say? This this week's going to be interesting. We got an amazing guest. We got an amazing show style right now, because we have one silent guest with an amazing voice actor for the guest, which is totally not the gender-specific term. But yeah, yeah. I am derping. I am derping. Norman, why you derp? You derp. Derpity, derpity, derp. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, besides me derping, besides me derping, you guys mentioned about Midnight Scribes' um, amazing, amazing vibes, was it? 
Creative vibes. Creative, creative vibes. vibes. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. I, it's like, like Puff said, I'm derping really, really hard. So, Kyle, if I do remember, it's a show about you guys interviewing guests from around the world, right? Yeah, that's the plan. The, the idea is that we get on someone who's part of the community and basically showcase them and sort of do a in-depth interview with them. And, you know, there's some fun elements as well, but it is meant to be about them and their craft and what they do and give them a chance to kind of speak about it. Because I don't think uh, artists and musicians and the various voice actors and all the various different types of people in the community necessarily always get a voice. And it's nice to ha- give them a chance where I can just give them questions and let them have a nice long answer about it, you know, and it's, it's kind of like, um, we've got an interviewer in the UK called Parkinson, mm-hmm. who, you know, tends to just ask, you know, general questions, but they're, but they lead to quite in-depth answers. And I basically tried to nick his stick, basically. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If I do remember right, Lurk, you're also the artist for the show, right? Yeah, but I'm not the only artist for the show anymore. We've got Puffy that's also doing art for the show. So you keep an eye out for her stuff. Ah, Soon to be coming in the future. <laughs> oh, cool, cool, cool. Because uh, I'm on your Divine Art Gallery and I'm seeing the cover art for Midnight Scribes Creative Vibe with Movie Slate. So that's cool. Yeah, I will release them when they're released on YouTube. So when you see them on my gallery, they'll be on YouTube and I will send a link so y'all can watch them. Ah, all right, cool, cool. Because I'm looking through your gallery and your art style is... Pretty unique. I haven't seen this style around that much or any similar to this style. Mm, thank you. I think <laughs> I just sort of slipped into that sort of style. It wasn't a conscious decision. Oh, by the way, message from Puffy. Ha ha, two podcasts I'm taking over. I'm close to taking over all of them. Ha 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 Can I be a henchman, Puffy? Uh, highly advisable to get a microphone before you actually start taking something over called a podcast. <laughs> Uh, it takes uh, a special kind of talent to take over a podcast via text I am quite impressed but it is a good point Ron (laughs) oh but still what's your mode of drawing like what application do you use application I'm just on the computer at the moment I've got my tablet and it's on Artweaver just a free program that I got with it and I've just been using it since ah so how long have you been drawing? On the computer, a good few years now. Oh, okay. I only put that Debian art up because I thought, yeah, I'm just going to put my silly stuff on and show my friends, and that's how it started. I'm looking through your gallery, and it's not only ponies, which is good. So it shows that you have variable of... What's the word I'm looking for? You have many styles to your repertoire? Um, You could say that. I just draw what I find amusing. Whether it be something someone said, like one of my friends will say something, and I'm like, oh, that's funny, I've got to draw it, and that's usually where a lot of my ideas come from. Mm. Just something funny in conversation, I'm like, ooh, I want to see that. <laughs> uh, that. That always starts out any good drawing. And I do see that you also are a fan of multiple fandoms. I do see Looney Tunes and Disney and also Steven Universe. Yes, yes, yes. I love Steven Universe. And if anyone's not watched it yet, I implore you, watch it. It's good. Hey, it is a good show. It is a good show. Steven Universe is a fun show. Uh, so, so much fun. So much fun. So many feels. And by fun, do you, you mean crying a lot? Then yes. You yes. Don't cry, don't it is cry very. How, why do you say cry a lot? That's because, because I, I cry a lot. Huh? It's, not, bro. it's that beautiful. True, it's but I, I don't cry when I watch it. <gasps> You're not watching it, oh, right? Oh, look at Mr. Manly Man over here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I, I don't... I, I don't know. I don't cry. That's, that's it. But I got to know, Lurk, what is up with the Mother of Owls? Oh, that was just something that a friend said, that my flat is completely and utterly covered in owl stuff like you would not believe. And... They decided they decided that I was Mother of Owls because I like Game of Thrones as well. Oh. So, they like Daenerys... She's got three dragons. She's mother of dragons. I'm mother of owls. Uh, Must be a hoot. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. Uh, (laughs) Uh, I'll go now. I'll go now. (laughs) Bring more puns. Uh, It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I also see that you also do seagulls. Yes. Mm. I see plenty of them here. So I thought, yeah, let's make a seagull uh, character. Just imagine. Oh, thanks. With, with lipstick also, so wow. 
Just, just no, that's her angles. That's what their um, markings are. I just sort of stylized it to make it look like lips, so you know it's a girl. Ah, all right, all right. I would just say that's foul. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but also talking about avians, did you guys know that the Hasbro's promotional toy that you can get at San Diego Comic Con is a Pinkie Pie chicken costume? Aww, oh, yeah, that. the one that she was wearing in the Nightmare Night episode. Yep. Chicken pie. <laughs> yep, that, that's the one, that's the one. Pinkie, you're a genius. No, I'm not. I'm a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Kills me every time. Oh, that, that, that's a good one, that's a good one. And who would have thought that they would have used this one. And the best part is, if you take a look-see at how they package it, they put it in a quote-unquote KFC bucket. <laughs> now, you see, already I'm hungry enough just hearing the words chicken pie, but putting it in a KFC bucket, I mean, like, are they actually just trying to make me starve here? Like, I'm, I saw the video of it, like, the Vine video of someone unwrapping it, and it was like, why are you doing this to me? Like, you know, you... I love KFC, I love chicken buckets, I like chicken pie, you've put them all together, I just want a gnome on the thing. Uh, <laughs> Which is all very... conspiracy against you. <laughs> I know, it is all conspiracy against me. But, however, to balance things out, uh, word from Puffy. I live too far from America, so I don't care. Aww. But, the, I, I too live far from the US, but hey, the way I'm looking at it is, this is a pretty interesting promotional toy, and if you guys think that this... Uh, toy is small. Oh no! Oh no! This is the fashion style ponies. This, this are big. At least about, I would say, five inch tall, probably. Really? Oh. Yeah, because take a look at the bucket and how big is that, and compare it to his face. So it is huge. It is huge. In case you're wondering, five inches at twelve point seven centimeters. So yeah, it is quite tall. Mm-hmm. That is quite a tall toy. It is tall, but Puffy happens to believe, and I've got a message from Puffy just here, big ponies, they don't exist. What do you mean by that, Puff? Ponies are small. Uh, true. Horses yeah. are big. Ah, <laughs> uh, got me there, got me there. But still, it's the it's the toy that's fun. Yay, cow say moo! <laughs> Say what now? Perfect uh, voice for that. And cows say moo. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. But no, um, still, that's not the only thing that's happening on, at the San Diego Comic Con because I'm, I'm looking through the links that I click on the show notes and I'm seeing that there's also a doll of Gem and the Hologram. Look at the show notes and see links because there's an awesome amount of toys there and you got Gemini Holograms, you got Creo's G.I. Joe you also got, well, the last week we mentioned about Baseball Pinky and something from Marvel with Ant-Man being in a match size box and the model being there, so that's cool That is very cool for Ant-Man Indeed, and also probably something to do with Equest Struggles, I don't know yeah, who knows Star Wars and other things. If you're interested in Transformers, there's something for you there. That's not the only thing that's going on at San Diego Comic Con besides the toys that Hasbro is doing. IDW is also having comics over there because it is the San Diego Comic Con, so you have to have comics. And it seems that IDW is going to publish a few comics with exclusive covers. And one of the covers are for the Finship is Magic. And the cover is, well, pretty cool. It's a compilation of all of the villains on one page. Looks pretty cool, looks pretty cool. But what I'm interested is on issue 32. It's an old style cover, even with the Chris and Tears on it. You guys see what I'm talking about? Yep. Yeah, I've seen it. Oh, yes. Awesome. Uh, question, why exactly? Why exactly? Well, it's a convention edition cover, and it's... What do you mean by why exactly? I mean, why exactly is it, like, old school like this? Like, it's like it's a vintage comic. Mm, if I do remember right... Yeah, it's the theme for the issue. Um, you notice everyone's in uh, Halloween costumes. It's yeah, Nightmare Night do, Yeah, it's something to do with the 32nd issue... 
Night of the Living Apples, something to do with scary Halloween stuff. So that's cool. And the book is going to cost you $5 and is limited to 5,000 copies. So yeah. Get but it says here, 399 cents. 399 cents. How much is On that? the cover. That's yeah. I think that's $3.99. No, it's $3.99. That's what I said. $3.99. Sorry. That is what he said. Sorry, sorry my, bad, my, bad. Said. My, my bad. It's yeah. $3.99. Yes. Which is... And now you're telling me it's $5. No, well, it does say the info there. Like, I, okay, you know exploding. what? You know what? I'm going to count. See, I, I'm going to use a money converter and money see. converter. Why? Oh. Is that like a different type of dollar we're using here? Well, could I just be. want to know. I just want to know. cents is one dollar, right? Yes. Three hundred is three dollars. Three dollars. Nine nine is ninety nine cents. I don't so know. Let me see. I uh, know. I am. I was the. Probably the most oh. dim-wit in my class when it comes to math, but I am not even not even not even I am not that <laughs> dim-witted. Okay, you know what? They lie. They should have put five hundred cents. But yeah, it's wait. It could be bits. Yeah, it could be bits. <laughs> well, stop changing the terminology. We're already broken at sides. But actually, just before we go on, a message from Puffy Norman. You just want me to go like. Oh, look, another con with amazing things that I can go to. Damn you, Norman! Uh, uh, How is it his fault? Yeah, yeah, because I'm covering it. But no, it's the San Diego Comic Con. Not many people can go there. And if you are lucky enough to go there, oof, you're going to wait in so many lines. Lines all over the place. Lines, lines, lines. I'm British. I love lines. Oh, it's a national spot in North Korea. <laughs> More than in Britain. <laughs> More, you know, it, for, for us, it's like there's two things we like in Britain. We like standing in lines and complaining. Uh-huh. And, if we, can, yes, and if we can combine the two together, that's when Nirvana is reached. It's like, oh, look at this queue. But oh, but there's something great at the end of it. So, oh, well, we'll queue and then we'll complain about being in the queue and how long we wait <laughs> yeah, in the like queue. Like waiting how long to go in before we get to see the awesome thing. And then we see the awesome thing. It's not that awesome. And then we complain because we waited all that time. <laughs> Uh, well, talking about complaining, a few people might have complained that Hasbro C and D are fighting his magic, but you know what? It seems that Main 6 has been at work review, um, making new content for their new game called Main, I'm guessing that's what they call, calling this game, and the skins, the animation, it's still the same game, guys. Like, if you take a look, see at the link in the show notes, and some of the videos or GIFs that they have, that's still the same Applejack. Like, Applejack's fighting animation is in the cow now. So, yay! That's cool. Same thing, only more legal. Yeah, that, that that, that, that's that's a word. That's a word. Uh, but I'm... It's not for legalness. Yeah. I'm still guessing people are going to complain because, oh no, it's not ponies anymore. Yeah. Well, that can go to... Whatever bad guys go to in Equestria, I don't know. Well, not in Equestria, because we don't have the rights to that, so somewhere else. Somewhere that is like Vanish to the moon! Equestria, but somewhere else. <laughs> Vanish to the moon. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, guys, you got any question for Lurk here? Yeah? Lurk, how much did you enjoy being on my show last week? <laughs> Immensely so. And then I learned uh. I don't know as much about Disney as I thought I did. <laughs> oh, yes, the impromptu... Disney quiz that I tried to oh, fail. So much fail. Uh, don't 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 worry, the lurk, because they g- try and give me what uh, Wii U questions, and I couldn't answer any one of them. Oh. I know. I do seem to be getting a reputation for throwing in quizzes based on what people like, and somehow making them not get the questions correct. And I'm not oh. even like. I didn't do it with Sketchy. I did a recent interview with Sketchy Sounds, which will be hmm. appearing in the future. So. Uh, but I didn't do one with him because uh, we, we did we really did an in-depth interview with him. So, which we can, should be coming out in the next couple of weeks if the dice yeah. roll correctly. And right, uh, cool, cool. sorry, I just realised I've managed to turn that from talking about Steph and asking questions to talking about the show. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I find this it's fine. cool. It's cool. I will be happy if people watch the show because it's like, yay! I was a part of that, so enjoy that. Indeed, indeed. I apologise so much. I'm like just oh. I feel like such a corporate whore. 
swiftly. Yeah, actually, moving on swiftly, message from Puffy. Norman, did you ask the four important questions, or is my brain messing with me? Oh, no, I forgot. Yeah. Well, we have a tradition here where we always ask the guests, and, well, anyone in particular I want to ask the four important the four important questions and um Lurk, question number one for you is who's your favourite pony? Oh that's easy, Fluttershy. Fluttershy? Yes. Yeah, you're not a fan. <laughs> I'm glad someone else likes Fluttershy. So much hate on Fluttershy. I know a lot of people like Fluttershy, but then there's like, oh she's just a scaredy pony and she just talks to animals. She doesn't do anything and yeah and it's like here. Social anxiety is a constant struggle you have to deal with every day. You don't just get over it over one episode, man. <laughs> that is also true. And your favourite episode? My favourite episode would be the Return of Harmony, the Discord ones at the beginning of season two. I love those. Uh, any episode of Discord is fun. Especially yes. Reform Confused Discord. That's Oh, like fun. the new one. Yeah. That was season five. That was a really good one. Oh, yeah. Jealous Just Discord in... is awesome. I know. And oh my, the ship fix. Oh, I want to read them so bad. Yes. I haven't read any sort of fanfics. Don't know whether I should read pony fanfics or not. You should. You should. And any recommendations? Uh, I got one. You know what? After the show... No, uh, this is a favourite of mine. Uh, Sunny Skies All Day Long. I'll link it to you later. But it's a good one. It's a really good read. Mm, thanks mm-hmm. for that. How did you become a fan of the show? Uh, that would be because of my good friend Amy, a.k.a. Mad <laughs> Munchen, wore me down until I actually watched the show. She had about a whole year just asking me, have you watched Ponies yet? Have you watched Ponies yet? You'd really like this episode if you watched Ponies and so on and so forth. (laughs) I did give in and then watched it and I was like, oh, actually, I like this. This is cool. Oh my. So Amy met Munchkin. How is she doing? Um, She's okay. I'll be seeing her later on tonight. Ah, cool, cool. But if I do remember right, she had a bit of computer crisis, right? Yeah, it's completely and utterly dead now, and she oh, no. needs uh, funding for Indiegogo campaign. Is that all right if I send you a link for that oh, later sure. on? I'll put it in the show notes too. I would totally appreciate it if anyone listening who wants to like contribute would contribute because she really does need it, especially now. Whole yeah, computer's I, I died. can understand. I can understand. Working with a dead PC is not fun. Like everything you're doing halts, and you're in a jam. You can't do anything. Like just no. Indeed, it's been getting her down quite a bit, so she needs to like have a bit of fun and some good news. Kyle, what does Puffy say? What Puffy has said is, uh, why don't I have money? Norman, <laughs> give me your wallet. What? Why? No, <laughs> I, I need money. Uh, no, money, 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 mine. Okay, uh, last question is, <laughs> what do your family and friends think about your love for such show? Uh, well, my friends and co-workers know I'm kind of weird already, so they haven't really made much of a noise about it. They're just, eh, it's just stew. Ah, all right. So it's nothing nothing new then, it's part no, of the it's, course. it's just eye rolls and oh, you, and then just moving on. And then they send me pictures of unicorns, which makes me really happy. <laughs> Are they pink and fluffy? Pink, fluffy, white, sparkly, just generally majestic, yes. Mm. Are they dancing on rainbows? Of course. Shooting yes. rainbows, dancing rainbows. Sometimes and dancing rainbows. in the Highlands of Scotland as well, because... Uh, which has no fact, rainbows. Which don't have any rainbows. Well, actually, no, we do have rainbows, because we're raining all the time, so we have plenty of rainbows. Oh, you but, need uh, sun for rainbows. <laughs> you need sun. Oh, we can have a tiny bit of sun. I'm sure there's some sun spare somewhere. Because like, in the box. Do you guys also have leprechauns or something like that? Or that's no, that's Irish. Ireland. That's oh, Ireland. No, no, no. Our national animal is a unicorn. Say, Kyle, ah. Our national animal is rarity. The unicorn. Yes, rarity. Rarity is our national animal. Yay! Where is the diamonds? Uh, but still, but still, I I think I also didn't ask this question for Kyle because when you were on, you, you came in at an interesting moment. So, Kyle, um, just to refresh the people's memory, favorite character. Favorite character, uh, Applejack. Ah, favorite episode. Favorite episode, Perfect Stallion. Or oh, I think it was, was oh, it Perfect right. Stallion. I... What's the episode about, if you can remember? Uh, the one with uh, Big Mac and uh, Cheerilee. Yeah, Perfect uh, Stallion. So... And, yeah, yeah. How did you become a fan of the show? Am I allowed to say? Uh, right. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure where I want to say all this. Um, 
basically it's through Diane and uh, another friend of ours, Alice, uh, also known as Rouge. They were, um, they're obviously I've been friends with them for years and they were big fans of the show. And I uh... couldn't really, and they would always talk about it, but they wouldn't talk about anything else. So I had to kind of watch a bit of the show in order to get into these conversations which backfired because I then watched the following two seasons and became a huge fan. <laughs> oh, okay. I rem- now I remember. Now I remember. D- yeah, we had this conversation before. We have had this conversation. Yeah, I think we have, actually. Uh, yeah. I remember this also, but still, it's nice hearing about it. Yeah. And you know what? It's 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 not that strange to just watch a episode, like, oh, I just want to know what's happening and just watch an entire season of it. I literally did that with Transformers Prime. I did that with Breaking Bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you know, Break, Breaking Bad is what an hour's worth of episodes. Like Transformers Prime is just twenty-two minutes, and for me, like wow, I just watched an entire season without fatigue. Like that's just impressive. Very impressive. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm a big fan now. I can't wait for season two, Robots in Disguise. Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm sure it'll be absolutely fantastic. Um, but Steph, I've got a quick question for you from um. Someone called Puffy. I don't know who this person is, but um, <laughs> they do have a question for you, um, which is, uh, how did you start arting? Because uh, this story is different for every artist, and she's curious to learn, how did you start? Well, I've always been a scribbler, ever since I was small. So it's, yeah, I've just been drawing all my life. Just whatever I see on the TV, I wanted to sort of emulate, so I drew that, and that's how my style sort of um, increased. Just seeing what other people did and how they aligned, and just try and copy that and add it into my sort of stuff. Mm, I'm looking at your gallery right now on the DeviantArts. You can find Lurk here at lurkercat.deviantart.com. And I'm looking at this one called Bear Hug. And oh. that's really cool. It's, I won't say anthropomorphic or real. Like, what's the one I'm looking for? It's real. It looks, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A real depiction of a bear? It was an attempt at a real depiction of a bear, but it was just a silly sketch, and the sketch is in my scraps. But then I thought, oh, I'll just try and colour it, and I'm not exactly the master of colours, so it's just a mess of colours. Well, it, it looks good. It looks good. I, I like it a lot. And Oh, thank you. I don't know what to say, because that looks real, because going to another picture, uh, try, ty, mm-hmm, sorry, ty, ty, and Doug, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, Tyndag and the king that's of... That's the reindeer OC reviewer that's also on YouTube, and you should check him out, because he's fun. I'm looking here, and it's almost entro... Not, not entro, but it's furry style, if you get my drift. I suppose, yeah, that's sort of anthropomorphic, but it's not a conscious decision again either. It's just something that came out. And I do see you draw animals well, like the bone structure, the... How, how would I put this? Ah, um, anatomy. Yeah, anatomy. They look well drawn. Like everything's precise. Like thank you. It's that's how you would draw an animal. And I also see you like lynx. Yes, I love lynx. Lynx are awesome. What about lynx that you like? What about lynx? I just like the fact that they're not the typical sort of cat structure. Like when you think cat, you've got the long, tapered, sort of sleek, smooth, nice look. And then you've got lynx, which is just small, compact, and odd-shaped. You've got huge-ass mutton chops, and then you've got short tail, big paws, and ear tufts. It just doesn't fit with the image of cat at all. I like it. It's just Mm. odd. Oh, random question. Kyle, do you have a lynx? Do I have a... Lynx, uh, I do have some body spray thrown around the bathroom. Um, <laughs> is that what you mean? Or, like, so uh, genuinely, I'm... The Atari Lynx, man, come on. Oh, Atari Lynx. No, I don't actually. I don't have an Atari Lynx um, <laughs> on my to get list, along with many, many other things. Uh, as a collector of classical video games, you should have this, man. At least it yeah, follows man. the theme. It would follow the theme. I mean, definitely, if I had an Atari Lynx, that means I can see it to Steph and go, I have a Lynx as well. We can be best friends. Yes, we could. And then there would be an epic fist bump and rainbows would happen. Yeah. And it would be quite fun because Lurker Cat, the Lynx, would be playing a Lynx. And there'd be yes. that, just, oh. Uh, Lynxception. Lynxception. <laughs> and you could do the same with Jaguars. If we, if we can find a guest who has the nose as a Jaguar, we can do the yes. same joke again and get twice the mileage. <laughs> That's your new quest, Norman. Find a Jaguar OC now. Oh, uh, God, no. Puffy, make one. Go make one. <laughs> 
But no, I mean, other than <laughs> that's wrong. <laughs> I will, I guess, wrong. Make an OC, a Jaguar yeah, OC. Do it, do it, do it. But no, I mean, other than that, like your human anatomy is also not bad. Like you do, you do good art. How many years have you been arting? Quite a few years, just not professionally, just scribbling, constantly doodling. I mean, when I was in high school, I used to have pages behind my jotters and stuff while I was working, and I would just do shape skeletons and just do outlines and try and constantly get proportions right while I was not working. So just answer to that is just practice, 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 and make plenty of reference drawings and keep going back to them. The more you practice things, the more you look at something and notice all the details, the better you will get and your greater your memory map will be. Hmm. As Rom will probably agree as well. Uh, and Puffy. One more thing I need to remember is Puffy's also an artist for the Highland Rooney show, right? Yeah. So Puff, how did you get enrolled? By the way, I never knew that Puffy was doing art for the show. This is the first time I've heard of it. Yeah, Deanne just said that she volunteered, so I got in contact. And it was like, eh, you don't want to type. Uh, <laughs> oh, message from you Puffy. You must. Message from Puffy. Ugh, I don't want to type. Would you <laughs> want me to just make up a story? I can make up something for you if you like. I'm a writer. I could do this. Do it. Do it. Has uh, involved in cars, though. I mean, I can make up an epic story for you. Okay, right. Here's what happened, right? And this is the official story for how Puffy became an artist for Midnight Scribes Creative Vibes on the High on Bronies YouTube channel. We saw a unicorn, and this unicorn, let me tell you, it was a majestic unicorn. It was a beautiful beast of burden, siphoning its way through the highlands like a pony on crack. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Technically, it was butt stallion, right? Butt stallion? Yeah. What's a butt stallion? Hang on, sorry, what is a butt stallion? Borderlands 2, butt stallion. I haven't played Borderlands 2, I don't know what that ah. is. It's okay then. Butt stallion's pretty cute. <laughs> it sounds like something that a, a seven year old would make, like some sort of creature like, oh I'm gonna draw this nice little cute little creature and I'm gonna call it a butt stallion. Uh, let me, let me see if I can find it for you guys. By the way, in no way related, I, I am looking forward to you editing the show. <laughs> Ah, yes. Well, uh, I am just going to be happy, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> the taped on smile and the twitching. Happy? The Puffy asks. Happy? Yes, happy. Because, you know, me and editing, I'll, I try my best. I try my best. Well, suggestion from Puffy. You will need caffeine. My, uh, in brackets, my grammar is amazing. Indeed. Better than mine. Uh, better than mine also. Don't worry about uh, Puffy. Come on. You were in the middle of telling it. Right. Yes. Well, yes, of course. Now, this beautiful unicorn was plowing its way through the highlands. And Diane, the producer for the show, managed to actually capture it. Now, this was an amazing occurrence. Now, the way she captured it was by using a Pokemon ball, which we shall gloss over at this point because we're not quite sure how it managed to work. But for the sequel, we will explain that. <laughs> well, but they managed to use, But they managed to use this Pokeball to capture the unicorn... And inside it was Puffy. Now, that's because this unicorn wasn't actually a unicorn. It was actually a paper mache model that Puffy was inside. Because right. she was a bit of a troll. And, you know, she wanted to kind of have a bit of a laugh and go, Oh, look, aren't I a unicorn? And I'm Scotland's national animal. Isn't this fun? Hardy, hardy, hard. But here's the thing. Got captured by the Highland Bronies and got put to work and doing some fantastic artwork, which I am really looking forward to seeing. So technically she's your slave then? No, yeah. no, not a slave. No, no, a slave would be, um, 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 Steph, cover for me, please. <laughs> no, I'm just going to say, yeah, she's our slave, but she looks like she's having fun. Oh, mate, mate will do. Ah, uh, all right, a mate then. Mate's oh, by the, the way, uh, if you click on the link, that is the butt stallion figure from Borderlands 2. Let's see what the butt stallion looks like. And, I like oh the my. I stallion. It does not want <sighs> but Stellan looks like rarity if you didn't know, so yay. <laughs> <laughs> but what a name for it as well. I know. But Stallion. I like... know. But talking about naming conventions, did you guys know that Hasbro just registered a trademark for Guardians of Harmony? Yeah, I did hear about this. I mean, it's, I'll be curious to see exactly how this trademark is used for the franchise. Where, like, is this going to be just for toys or is this something related to the TV series? Uh, I don't know. I mean, do remember that previously something like this happened. We got uh, Rainbow Rocks and then the p- toys for Rainbow Powers. So 
that's related to the show somehow. Remember when Rainbow Rocks was all a, a, a thing with the second movie, the Equestrial Girls movie, and then with Rainbow Power, it was the whole Tyrek battle thingy. It could be for this season. I, I don't know what this season's motto is. Or it could be something for the new movie that's going to come out soon. It will be interesting to see anyway. I'm looking forward the to it. The 2017 right. movie from yeah. uh, Allspark Production. It could be that. But hey, who knows? Uh, it's a long way to go. But if you think about it, yeah, the timing for this is a pretty cool because we do know that 2017 Allspark Production is going to have My Little Pony movie. So Logic says that it could be this one? Oh, potentially. I mean, I've... A message again from Puffy, uh, just a slight warning to people, um, just a little nitpicking. Uh, the NBS show isn't spoiler free. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> Back to you, Norman. Uh, no, you were talking, man. Oh no, I was just, I was just literally trying to get a segue to put that bit in. <laughs> 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 I was trying to figure out how did I actually, because it's obviously I'm wanting to bring in Puffy's comments, but it's like I can't just interrupt halfway through a sentence. Oh yeah, I've you got can. to come up with some yeah, sort can. of just. You just do just it. Just randomly scream and announce. Yeah, you, you just do it, man. You just do it. Oh, but that's only so fun because like Relicious could be making an absolutely brilliant point about the state of art in the pony fandom, and I could then go, "Oh, by the way, I'm a troll and I like unicorns." <laughs> <laughs> just like uh... just throwing half the show completely off to the side. Uh, it's not the first time, man. It's not the first time we. Wait, what was my real. point? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, bro. You lost me. What did I say? I, I I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm also lost. <laughs> Rom, Sush, go back to your tea. <laughs> Message from Puffy. <laughs> Puffy, Puffy go back to school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> no. Look, um, I'm still at your gallery, and your coloring still is really awesome. What's the process like? How long does it take for you to finish your drawing? can take me quite a while just depending um how small and intricate it is just like clean ups and stuff usually do them on a layer below and then color in i've not found a quicker way to do it and then there's the shading i'm still learning how to do um shading and lighting with colors because most of the time before i used to just be black and white and just do gradients that way Mm. they weren't the best either so i'm still learning Mm, because i'm 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 still looking at bear hug and I enjoy bear hug. I cannot say the word bear hug. Yes, bear hug. Ugh. I'm so glad you enjoy bear hug. Yeah, it looks cool. I, I like it. it. It just looks so adorable. Uh, uh, maybe it's just me. <laughs> maybe it's just me. I, I don't know. Hey, Norman, can you bear it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that message was from not go there. <laughs> uh, can I bear it? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess. And if you want to find Puffy after that message, she's gone to the cave. Uh, na, 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 Puffy cave. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure I can bear it. Bear in mind that I am the host for the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, double use, double use. So good. <laughs> <sighs> puns are not my thing, but hey, I try my best. But still, um. I love puns. <laughs> But still, if you guys have any question for uh, Lurk here? Yeah, ask me stuff. What do you struggle with as an artist in terms of drawing? Uh, poses usually and proportion. I'm still trying to get proportion right. Sometimes I make the top half way too long and the legs are like tiny. Yeah, you mentioning that I'm looking at commenter ban- banner. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. The, the front paw is a bit too long. Probably it's just... Yeah, me. I noticed that after a while. I was like, ah, I've made it too long, but I just went with it. Yeah, maybe he's a, maybe the links here is a yogi. Who knows, you know? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, like they'll see him at a street fighter. Yeah, I know. Ain't that true, right? Like all Indians can stretch their bodies in proportionate lengths and can breathe fire, right? No? Yes? Yes. Yoga flame. Yoga fire and yoga flame. Uh, I'm still gonna get so many hates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who is your favorite artist? My favorite artist? Yes, uh, who do you admire from afar? Or close? Hmm. Is it to me? Oh, you that I like. Yes, Kyle, you are my favorite artist. Wow, am I really your favorite artist? I'm not yes. even drawn anything. That's how good you are. <laughs> no, there's quite a few people in Debian Art that I like. There's obviously my friend Amy that I like. I like your stuff, Ro. It's pretty good. Then there's oh, oh. Yellow Eyes, but I don't think she's on Debian Art anymore. But her stuff is really, really, really good. 
if you have to look at stuff like that. She does werewolf drawings mostly, but her fur is just, oh my god, her fur is amazing. I wish I had that much detail. She has something from Puffy. Uh, she asks, what is your favorite thing in drawing process? Sketching, coloring, shading and lighting? I mostly That's... like sketching, if I'm honest. Sometimes I like the shading and lighting. It just depends what mood I'm in, usually, but <laughs> I well, like sketching I most. Well, I don't know what mood you're in, Steph, but I know what mood uh, Puffy's in. Uh, message from Puffy. Norman, I'm going to kill you if you do that voice again. <laughs> oh, why? It's fun. I don't know. I thought it was half decent, personally. Uh, <laughs> although I noticed you were trying to imitate me there. <laughs> not, not really. Not really. But what Puffy says is, you can't do it. No, I'm not. But, uh, I don't know what voice that was I was doing there. Sorry. <laughs> I just doing any voice for puppy. Uh, I need a drink. This is going to be fun editing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, if you love sketching, I, I can see why sketch, because sketch is you know, the fun part. You draw it and you know what me looking at your scraps. What the he is up with Batman? Oh, Batman. We were playing Arkham Asylum like Amy and Colin and me. And we, everywhere he went, he just sort of stated the obvious. And he's like, he's pretty much like Princess Exposition, which is what Amy calls Princess Celestia. So he's like Celestia Batman, skipping around the place, all happy and merry, but with um, Celestia's mane as a cape. Oh, man. Talking about Batman, the new game's out. Uh, Batman Arkham Origins? Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight. Yeah. Yeah. And Origins it's broken. Last one. What, really? How? How is it broken? Well, a lot of people, well, in terms of performance, the place, the thing needs a lot of optimizing. Uh, Let's put it yeah, that the, way. The, the PC port was a disaster. Ooh. I mean, it basically, it got released on Steam. There were 8,000 negative reviews of it, and the game got pulled. Ooh, that bad. Like, ooh. Yeah. I mean, the game on the consoles, from what I've heard, have had Stabilized. really good reviews. Yeah. Like, they, they have... But the, the game itself is absolutely great. So the problem was there's been some very strange optimization screw up on when PC? Uh, the, on PC mm. with them um, because it was a different company that were porting it oh, wow. who uh, who have done a lot of good games in the past, but have clearly just didn't quite something went wrong with this one. That's strange because okay, probably I, I'm not hundred percent sure because the last Batman game I played was City. If I do remember right, uh, a reviewer on YouTube called Angry Joe reviewed the game and he did an angry rant. And usually when he does that, there's something wrong with the game. Talking about trying to make things better, um, message from Puffy. Uh, Lurk, she asks, is there... Is there any way you... I'm not letting you have this one. <laughs> <laughs> I saw what you're trying to do there. I know precisely what you were trying to do. <laughs> Go ahead. I want to see an epic battle to the death now for who can voice Puffy. I want to see it. Actually, I want to see it now. All right, fine then. Right, we'll both do it at the same time, starting from no, the word no, is. No, no, no. I'll go for you, it. You go ahead. You sure? There's going to be hell on anything. All right, oh, no worries, no problem. Right. No death match. Fine. I'll wait. Is there any way you want to improve in your art? Because knowing myself, I have so much that I want to improve. Livio Sir. Okay, a bomb. So, uh, Lurk, anything? Any answer for that? <laughs> and to answer your question, Puffy, I also want to <laughs> improve so much. I would like to add more detail into my work. Without, I... Part of my problem is I'll draw something and I'll be colouring and then I'll get distracted and then I'll be like, oh, I just want to finish it. <laughs> I need to sort of slow down and take my time and put more detail in and make it a bit more accurate, my sketches, rather than just rough shapes. But that'll come in time, I hope, if I just keep at it and slow down. Well, I think the distraction does that sometimes and um, getting not distracted is hard. I'm that way with doing this show. Sometimes I get distracted or sometimes I do need this I do need the distraction to keep myself attentive to the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's strange that way, but I don't know, it works for me. Other than that, your art is there. I like, I can see you do good art. It's amazing. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it looks good. And practice a bit more. Yeah, thanks very much for that, Norman. And I shall, I shall practice. No problem, no problem. You guys got any questions? What is the meaning of life? 42. 42. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> 
But anywho, uh, what's up with 42? I don't know. It's the answer to the universe, Puffy. That's why. Yes. And everything you within it. You do not need it. to know why. Yes. It is 42. And everything within it. Uh, 3.14. No, no. That's not it. But anywho, uh, if anyone doesn't have any more questions, I can wrap it up here. Kyle, you okay? Yeah, I'm absolutely fine over here. How can you not like pies? I oh, pie! <laughs> of course. I forgot about pie. Yeah, yeah, probably. Uh, pie is okay, but uh, we should have done this earlier so we can segue to the chicken pie. Ah, oh, damn it. Terrible. Edit in. Just edit. We can, we can do a clean bit. Hang on, wait a sec. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll do the line no. and then you can throw it in somewhere else. No, no, never Here mind. No, never mind. <laughs> I believe message from, message from Prof, message from Puffy. How can you not like pies? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this is not gonna work. But anywho. Ro, any more questions for Lurk? No. no. I got it. Nothing that. Alright. Nope. And Puff, any last questions from you? You seem to be the one who's at point here. Which animal do you love to draw? That's going to be hard. I like drawing a lot of them. I love drawing wolves. I like drawing cats. I like dinosaurs, but I haven't drawn many of those in my gallery yet. Mm. Might change. Um, um, I like owls. <laughs> Just basically, I am Fluttershy. I like all animals. And if I could... Yes, roar! <laughs> Dinosaur goes raw, raw, raw. <laughs> yes. Can't, can't blame them. dinosaurs are fun and it's the in thing right now which Ro will ban because it's popular already did <laughs> <laughs> actually no I didn't because I kind of agree with this I like dinosaurs dinosaurs are cool I did ban like... Inside Out though because too much emotions <laughs> what? What, what, what what did you ban Inside Out oh, inside... <laughs> it is the show... Inside Out is a show about emotions exactly banned <laughs> <laughs> I know Pixar is just I don't know I don't know man with a thing it's just working with too much emotions I just it's just what's the word I'm looking for uh, emotional <laughs> not just that that I car but there's something else I just how should I how should I phrase this real quick um you better phrase it fast because Puffy is coming to your house run 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 <laughs> she doesn't know where I live so it's cool I do she lives I next to you. Find you. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, I just got tired of Pixar. Let's put it that way. Aww. Their ideas don't seem to me don't seem more, any more interesting to me. <laughs> I'm they just lost that. They just don't have that pizzazz anymore. Let's put it that way. At least from my perspective. Okay, if you see. And Inside Out just another one of those things that just like okay, they're over. They're, again, like I said, emotions, emotions, fish emotions, car emotions, emotions, emotions. <laughs> what next? Emotions having emotions about emotions. Well, that's Inside Out for you. So yeah, enough of Pixar. Sorry, guys. You're just losing it. Uh, no problem, man. No problem. Okay, that could be something new. A movie about cheese. Uh, yes. That's something I would see. Want to see one called James Labrie? That's just cheesy. Yes. Get out of here. <laughs> well, you used to a chalk and cheese, aren't you? <laughs> uh, cut the cheese. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I, I think that's about it. And, well... If you guys have any questions for Lurker Cat here, where can they find you? Um, they're best to find me at lurkercat.dvnart.com. Or if you really, 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 really want to get in my face, then message me on my Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash lurkercat. And unicorns. Unicorns are a good way to get my attention. So if any of you guys have them, give them to me. Yay! <laughs> she yes, show up. Oh no. You can summon me with the power of the unicorn. Make sure you speak in fluffy because that's the best way to attract her. I am a them. There are many of me. Indeed, indeed. So I'll, I'll add that in the show notes. So, anywho, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the MBS show at gmail.com. You can also reach the show's Twitter account at the MBS show. Sweetie, but we'll just say, go buy Amy Larson's book. Go. Penny Royal Academy. Out on Amazon right now. Go. You can also reach me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. And currently right now, I got no idea. <laughs> Nothing's tickling my fancy. That's so sad. What about you, Ro? You can find me at my Twitter, Relicious underscore Art. Amiibo Splatoon Emotion Inside Out Free Zone. Guaranteed. I tweet about, well, random thoughts that come to my mind. Or you could find me at my gallery at Relicious 
www.dnr.com. And that is where you can go attack him. Dude. <laughs> what? You don't... It's a matter of taste. You don't... Okay? Okay. You don't... I'm okay with other people liking what they like. It's their business. Uh... I'm not judging. <laughs> I'm just saying it's not my taste anymore. Puppy's coming for you with an axe. No, with an uh... axe. With an owl, puppy. Okay, she can afford an axe, but she can't afford a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Who said she bought it? Oh, who's going to give it to her? <laughs> I'll give it to her, because I am her voice, and we are coming for you, for we are one now. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, they, they ain't creepy at Borders all. will not stop us. Borders will not stop us. Governments will not stop us. Ponies will not stop us. We are coming for you, religious. Do not believe you can escape that easily. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, oh, I love Kyla. Wow. <laughs> Uh, I love stuff. you all. We must do lunch. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> well. Well. Anywho. Am I a- Kyle, what about you? Well, I have one question just before I go. Mm-hmm. What is waifu? And remind me. Uh, I don't know. Waifu is basically a wife. <laughs> so she wants you to make a sex change operation. Uh, what the- <laughs> you get to be the wife, Kyle. Congrats. Oh, uh, <laughs> And I, oh, I think Puffy's confused as well. Listen, I'll tell you what, Puffy, you and I, we can chat after the show. We can work things out there. Indeed. But if you want to speak to me about other things that aren't related to this potential marriage proposal, um, <laughs> you can find me on the Hound Bronies Facebook page at um, facebook.com forward slash Hound Bronies. Also our YouTube channel, which is where Midnight Scribes Creative Vibes uh, will be going out. With uh, Norman's show going out on Tuesday, as I've mentioned. Uh, and also there'll be a couple of other little programs here and there that will be on that channel and for myself personally well you can find me at my tumblr at the one midnight scribe at tumblr.com um, and you can also find me on facebook at facebook.com forward slash kyle mccall awesome 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 and lastly puff where can they find you if i'm not mistaken they can find you at puffy and also on tumblr with the same username am i right that sounds pretty correct, but you can also find Puffy in the nearest graveyard, because uh, Puffy's dying of laughter, but uh, check out her deviant art. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Don't go grave robbing now. That's not a good way to go. Oh, God, no. Uh, oh, she does commissions too. Cool. Oh, sweet. Wow, how did you know that without me saying it? That's amazing. <laughs> well, because I could be psychic and also looking at the chat. <laughs> the chat. Yes, no. the chat that we have here right now, that's only exclusive to us. But you know, probably one day I'll also open this to live stream. Who knows, right? Right? A live stream. Oh, that would be chaos incarnate. Would be it would hilarious. be a beautiful moment. Yeah, everybody can see the derpness in this show. Oh, God. What have I started? <laughs> yeah, I just, this is awesome. Oh, God. Uh, Puffy, I'm not in... Oh, no, I'm not going to even say that. Anywho, and also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. Yes, we have the Facebooks. You can also catch us on PonyvilleLive.com. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Relicious. Rhymes with Delicious. I've been Kyle McCall. I've been Lurker Cat. And this is the voice of Puffy. I write, there's only one voice of Puffy, and that is me, the voice of Puffy. <laughs> and I'm going to kill you, Norman. Why, oh man. <laughs> ah, boy. So, anywho, I'll see you guys next week if I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Bye-bye. Peace out. See ya. Bye. Can I just say something? Sure, go ahead. Please. Yeah. Please tell me we're editing out the gaps. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, leave it.